Thanks for watching AM Northwest. Our next guest is a nationally recognized artist who says anyone can learn to draw and paint. Now, today we're drawing real flowers. We welcome back the author of Peggy Dean's Guide to Nature Drawing and Watercolor. Peggy Dean, good to see you Yay, again. Hey, good to see and you. And I love your new shag. Thank you. It looks great. I said that. I said shag. So yeah, I, I love it that you nailed it. <laughs> <laughs> now, we're, you, let's take a look at the flowers you've drawn here. Yes. So I think that. This is really what got me into drawing and what ended up making it more realistic rather than doodly was right. when I actually used real flowers as a reference. And now styles can obviously change and you can take this in a doodle form or take it in a more realistic form. So the, the examples that I have were all more of a realistic form. This was actually the very first piece that I ever did. Really? Yeah, with realistic flowers oh, and they're wow. found items. But it's really just looking at things kind of like a 3D object flattening it to a 2D object. So you're looking at length and shapes and lines a little bit differently okay. than, you, than you would um, being confused by it. So for example, this is at an angle toward us, but right. you can see that we know what it looks like if it were tilted completely face up toward us. So right. we know this petal's long, but if you draw it where you see the length is much shorter mm -hmm. when it's on its side, and then you keep these long, and then you go shorter here, from your point of view, that's when you can really break it down and make oh, it wow. look more realistic. Okay. So we're not going to get that complicated, though. I'm going to turn one of these so that you can see it flat. Okay. I see because it flat. Because that'll yeah. be a lot easier. Okay. Um, and then we'll start with the center. Okay. And the center, I like to do, I'm going to move this a little bit. Mark making. Um, so there's a couple different ways that you can go about mark making. The first is stippling, which takes forever, but right. it's beautiful. Okay. Um, you're probably familiar where all you're doing is dot, 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 dot. And then if you made this, you know, a big center of dots, the more that you add in one place, the darker it gets, right. which can emphasize depth. Depth, right. Yeah. So that can be a thing, but if you're lazy and impatient like me, mm -hmm. then you I'm with can, you. Yeah, I hear you, sister. You know, okay. um, then you can go ahead and go in and do, you know, tiny horseshoes. They're like basically really loose half circles. And so, see, I'm making a center. Oh, I see. And I'm just changing the direction okay. around the center here. And then I'm keeping them all spaced out similarly. But what happens when I'm done and I feel good about the size, I'm just going to probably, probably going to make this a little bit smaller than what it should be. But um, when I feel good about the size, what I can do is add depth just by going over the same areas oh, again. Oh, right. Just like I would with stippling. Right. So if I look at this flower, now I can do it around the sides, even though this isn't necessarily what I'm seeing here. I see the depth mostly in the center. But this is where I play with it because when you add depth around the sides like you're doing, okay. when you add petals, they look like they're more tucked in to the center oh, right. rather than sitting next to them. Okay. So if I, um, you know, I'm going to add my depth to the center a little bit, and then I'm going to add some depth to the outsides Outside. okay. really fast because, okay. you know, you don't have to do it really fast. I just, uh, <laughs> example wise. All right. And then when it comes to petals, you see that they are skinnier toward the base where they're attached. They are skinnier toward the tip. Oh, right. And they go wider in the middle. Yep. Okay. So what I like to do sometimes, if it's helpful to you, depending on length and where you see it, you know, if, if we're looking directly at it face up, we can see that the petal is going to go out to about right here. Oh, and right. so I just do a dot. And then that will help you get the length. Okay. And these are just the smaller petals that I'm doing. You can do them longer, okay. but they end up layering. Um, but then, have you ever noticed that when you try to draw a flower, even those old doodle flowers when you're in school, that you start here and then you go around and they just get shorter and shorter yeah, and shorter? Yeah, sure. sure. Yeah. So a good trick for that is to then mark two more areas on the other side. You can do it directly across or you can the do... The same size. Yeah. The same size, okay. And then once you have that in... I'm just going to do those quickly. And they don't have to be perfect. Nature's not perfect. Right. Um, and then you can fill in the rest. And that's what gives you that guideline and then as you fill <laughs> mine are looking wonky um, <laughs> <laughs> 
That's all right. It's because I go. usually turn my page when I'm doing Okay. But you can also start overlapping. So like this area here where things are looking a little weird. I mean, nature's not perfect. You can right. see that yeah. they're weird here. So I can peekaboo one. So I can kind of have it coming behind. And then you would just hover to see, okay, that would probably end up here. Right. And then end up here. And that's where you start to layer. Oh, I see. Okay. All right. And then... Just finish I this. Think, I think we've got it. Yeah, you totally have it. Okay. But then the other thing. Oh, oh, I did do exactly what you said. It got shorter as I went around. No, but you see they're layering, so yeah. it makes sense. Because you don't, yes, these flowers do have that perfect circle, but right. what, I don't like to do it where you fill it so much to where it's like exactly right. a circle. I like to have that texture in there because otherwise it just, I mean, it naturally it feels like you want to fill in those empty spaces right. okay. but I, I say avoid it all right like thank you so much this yes. was really fun yes uh the book again is called peggy dean's the whole title is uh <laughs> <laughs> this is Peggy guide, Dean's Guide to Nature guide, Drawing oh, there and we Watercolor. Nature Drawing and Watercolor, <laughs> right there. Uh, I didn't have the book in front of me, so that's why I was stumped there for a second. Thank you, Peggy. I appreciate it. 